that take it all the way back for a touchdown you talk about deflating for an offense oh shoot that that gets close to making them quit nice job by the defense that time stopping a two-point conversion it is so tough from the two-yard line so many things to think about on the defensive side but they were ready that time Watkins is running this one out. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Seahawks offense can reignite things now after last time moving the football only to throw a drive-ending interception. And this is what this defense lives on. They thrive on it. They let you move the football a little bit, but they wait for that mistake. Is that mistake going to be an offensive penalty, a drop pass? That time it was an interception, so... They, that's what this defense does, and they do it well. Get ready. Grant 38. Grant 38. The Seahawks from the 27. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job go. by the Grant running back. First down at the 29. Jamal Charles has the catch. Games 15. The Seahawks are in front thanks to their quarterback. Mariota's done everything he can to keep his team on top. He has been so efficient here today. Very smart making decisions. And when you put those two things together, that's why your football team is winning. They're going to the hurry. Back to the line now. Second and six. Charles is taking it on the screen. Shrugs off the first hit. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. First down and ten. They're setting up screen. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second and ten. Screen. With two hands, he has it. And he is brought down at the 39. The Seahawks that time, they can't get big yards, but the throw and catch picks up a few, and his third down's much easier with this situation. Mariota's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Got a big lane. Ball is out. one's going back the other way when you're standing in that pocket there are going to be defenders all around you of course keep two hands on it the Patriots offense still has a chance here Phil late in the game can they make something happen well it's going to be interesting to see Jim I think let's look at it from the defensive side know the situation if they get the ball they catch a pass make sure you come up and make the tackle don't let them catch and run a foot race to the end zone the 20, the 10, all the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Great play there for the touchdown, and that closes the gap. Everybody in the stadium, they know what's coming next. It's going to be an onside kick. Makes the PAT. The Patriots late in the game, looking to get the ball back on the onside kick. Well, they had a lot of options to choose from on the onside kick there because I've seen him in practice do many different onside kicks. But the attempt was just not good, and they're probably going to lose the game now. The Seahawks offense doesn't want to do anything to screw this one up at this point, Phil. They've got the lead, and they've got the football late in the game. Ah, wow, you're such a positive guy, Jim. I like that comment. Go down there and tell them that. Don't screw it up. But what do you do in a situation like this? I always like to try to draw the defense off sides on first down because they're anxious and you can take advantage of that. Second down and 10. Stands in the pocket. Going for the home run. Has the
the catch. I give the offense credit here, Jim, because this is a nice job. They knew if they got one first down, it would probably seal the game, and they got it done. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Jim, that's just playing it by the book. You got the lead, and you want to keep the clock moving, so what do you do? You run the football. When you're in the huddle, as a quarterback in this type of situation, you just tell everybody, another interception. Tackles made. Better late than never, Phil. Defense finally, Phil. I guess so, Jim. And look, the, the good spot here is it's been a bad day almost all day long, but the game is on the line. What do you do? You go out there, you make the play, and get the football back for your offense. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Brown's got it some heat on it first down pressure on every snap now managing that clock such a big deal in the NFL that's why they're hurrying up don't use that timeout keep those timeouts because that is going to maybe give you a chance to win the game the Patriots call a timeout and are left now with only one coming to the line at the 38 this play set up by the long gainer. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Is it caught? Yes, the offense has the ball. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Huge play coming up. Offense looking for one more play to make. And now he'll surge ahead. The Patriots call the run play that time down in the red zone. It does not work. But when you're running the football, especially in the red zone, Habs breaks the plane. Touchdown. What a fascinating play call. They go ground on the last play of the game, and they get the victory. Oh, it was a great play call, no doubt about it. An awesome job by the offensive line blocking up front, and the run wins the game. What a call. And the hands team does his job recovering the onside kick. Seal it as they will not get another.